Hey friends, Paul Tenhaken. Uh, I got a few minutes before my next meeting of the day, so I want to share my thoughts with you on our city council meeting that we had last night. Uh, for those of you who are uh, keeping track of the issues in the city, uh, we had a big meeting last night, a uh, meeting where the city decided to uh, fund a, uh, a $50 million project. That's a, a public-private partnership for a uh, mixed-use parking ramp in downtown Sioux Falls and partner with Legacy Developments uh, on that project. Uh, my perspective uh, on that issue is it's a good project. Um, we need it. Uh, we need the parking, uh, the spin-off sales tax revenue and other things that we'll realize from that project will be great. Uh, the challenge came uh, last night with some of the the way the process was handled. Uh, there was at times some embarrassing uh, actions by uh, our citizens uh, who were speaking to the council, uh, the way they spoke to the council. Um, some of the actions of our counselors uh, was less than cordial. Um, and at times it was just a very raucous <laughs> environment, it's probably the best way to describe it. Uh, and not indicative uh, of what my Sioux Falls you know, looks like. And so my takeaway from last night, uh, you know, and sitting and watching that meeting and seeing things play out is that we have a lot of good uh, leadership in our city. We have a lot of good projects we want to move forward with. Um, we have a lot of visionary ideas. But the only way we're going to get there with those ideas is through a strong leadership from City Hall. And what I saw last night quite honestly, it was, it was a fractured uh, a set of relationships that it's going to take an effective leader uh, to step in there and, and unify that council, uh, unify uh, some members of the community, uh, unify our development community, and build some consensus again, you know, get people uh, excited about the future of the city, um, and try to downplay this divisiveness that uh, quite honestly, it's becoming a fairly substantial problem. And so uh, I've built my career around building consensus and leading. Uh, leading small teams, leading large companies, um, leading boards, leading organizations. Uh, and I think the right mayor is going to have to be a strong leader, uh, especially after what I saw last night. Um, there's, there's some leadership um, issues that we need to address. And... Uh, I think our council did a good job overall managing kind of the, the volatility of that meeting. Um, but it was tough. It was tough as citizens to watch. I talked with several people that said they were embarrassed. Uh, and that's not a position I want to be in in five months. So uh, I don't want people to be embarrassed of our city. I want them to be proud of what we're doing. So recap, I think the legacy uh, city-public-private partnership it's a good project for downtown. Uh, I think it's going to bring a lot of wins for downtown long term. This is not a sprint project. This is a marathon project. Um, but what's more eye-opening to me is the, uh, the desire for leadership for uh, the next four to eight years and who that uh, best mayoral candidate will be uh, to step in and provide that leadership. So thanks for listening. It was a good meeting. Um, I look forward to being part of many, many more. So make it a great day and uh, leave me a comment or shoot me a note. If you have any thoughts or, uh, or questions, thanks. Have a good day.